Right, it's another new sticker day. Model Engineering Adventures. Um, that's Andy and uh, Michelle. Um, also, what came with the uh, sticker is a uh, very nice card by Michelle. I'm sure, yes, there's a, a website there if you're uh, interested in uh, any of Michelle's stuff. What I believe is she, she paints these pictures and uh, obviously then have them uh, printed on cards. Um, but uh, I'm sure I'll be corrected if that's not the case. But she does some very nice work. She did send me a picture of some seals that she did, which was uh, also very nice. But uh, anyway, on with today's tasks. What I'm going to make today is the lead screw, which is this piece, which has got a um, quarter inch 40 thread on it. But I shall probably do that as, I don't know, probably an M67, something like that, I'm not sure. Um, or I might, the problem is I haven't got a 40 um, TPI tap and die. Um, I mean I can, I can single point the 40 on the lathe, but that means I've then got to buy a tap for 40. But anyway, I'll have a look through my stuff. If I've got one, I'll probably stick to that. If I haven't, then I'll convert it to metric. But anyway, it's a fairly straightforward turning procedure. And then we've got to put, uh, find a way of uh, marking up the end. This thread through the centre, I believe, is just for an Allen bolt which you lock tight in, which allows you to turn the lead screw to adjust the um, depth of the cut on, on the end of the cutter. Um, so get that made today. Might make this uh, nut as well, which is a little stop nut, which goes on to somewhere. <laughs> goes on to... It goes on to there, there. It goes through there, I believe, to um, lock the slide anyway, once you've set your measurement. So that's what that's for. So let's get over to the lathe and get this bit sorted. Just and that's below. Perfect.
that's where we're at at the lead screw now we've got the quarter inch turned down there uh, ready to put the thread on we've got the recess to sit in the, the locking collar so what I've got to do now is put a chamfer on this end 45 degree chamfer drill a hole through for the screw and put the markings on um, not sure about the markings probably have to go over to the mill and put it in the dividing head for that but um, I'll, uh, I'll get this uh, done on here what I can but I'm just going to swap over to the um, collet chuck well, I forgot to um, turn the camera on but I'll put the uh, 45 degree chamfer on there I've just got to drill and tap the uh, hole in the centre for the uh, adjusting screw don't really like is this design I mean this screw needs cutting this screw needs cutting down anyway but I don't really like the idea of having that head on there as per the drawing so what I'm going to do is get a little um, grub screw to go in there I think that'll make a much better job of it and lock tight that in so anyway I've got the thread to put on there I haven't got the um, die for that yet. Um, I could single point it but I need the tap as well which I haven't got um, to do the retaining um, bolt. Um, so anyway it's getting there. Right it's time to uh, make the nut. The nut is this piece here which goes into that hole which the, the lead screw goes through to adjust the slide backwards and forwards. Got to part it off at 7 8 which is 22.23 uh, millimeters. the ends, drill a hole, tap for a quarter inch 40 for the lead screw to go through. It sits in there and then the lead screw travels up the channel, 
connected to the slide and moves it up and down. Right, just uh, putting a flat surface on there so I can get the drill started. Got the hole in there now, ready to tap the uh, quarter 40, and also I've got to round that end off, which I will do with a, a bit. I'm going to stand it up to do that. Just going to put these little rounds on there. Um, I've got a little experiment that I've set up. <coughs> what, I'm <coughs> what I'm going to do is use this wood turning carbide bit to cut that shape on the end. I mean I could put it in the rotary table but I thought well I'll try this just as a little experiment. I've never used a wood turning bit on metal but it's brass um, so we'll see how it goes. It worked out okay. It's not something I'll be doing on a, a regular basis, but um, as a one-off, I'm uh, I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah, it's come out uh, come out okay. Right, this is where the nut goes. Goes in that channel. It's for the lead screw, which is um, that piece. So the lead screw sits in there which is a really nice fit so there's no backlash then the slide goes in and that forms your adjustment right I'm gonna make this little stop screw goes through the side and uh, attaches onto the slide, well it doesn't attach on the slide, it presses up against the slide as a stop um, and I make that out of this little bit of leftover brass which was from making the nut Right, I'm going to reduce this down a bit, I don't think it needs to be half an inch, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller Right, just going to part that off.
There we go. That's the little uh, stop screw. It's quite nice in there actually. Let's get the other side, get the back side cleaned up. What I'm going to do is put a tiny piece of copper in there. And squash it down. That way that's not going to mark the slide. And, and also it's going to protect the end of the screw. So that'll go in there quite nicely. Right, that's that little job done. Let's find out what's next on the list. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.